Hi, we're going to talk about some nice things today. Did you know that? Sure, some special things for you, some special things for me too. And we have a special guest here today. Can you say that, guest? Sure, I knew you could. We're going to talk today to a musician, the guy who plays the bass. And you know what a bass is, don't you? Can you say that? Don't? Sure you can. Hello. How are you? You think you get somebody to give me a cup of coffee or something? You're not used to getting up early, huh? <laughs> I'm not here yet. What time do you usually get up? I usually get up when the sun is warm, like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I like to get up around 6.30. That's insane. <laughs> You're stupid. Huh? You should sleep late, man. It's just much easier on your constitution. We're going to talk about your bass and, and how big it is and things like that. It looks like a violin, but it's bigger, isn't it? It's a hell of a lot bigger. Can you say it? Violin is a little wimpy thing. Can you say wimpy? Wimpy. That's right. Wimpy thing. I like the way you say that. Did you know that? I do now. The hell, you're easily amused, aren't you? I say wimpy, wompy, wambly. I know what you mean. You know something? I like what your, your face does when you play. It kind of gets all sort of squinched up. Yeah, know. somebody told me once that my face, when I played a bass, it looks like some sort of a, uh, uh, like a big uh, jellyfish or something like that. It just keeps moving. Sure. You can never identify what the face is. And real ugly sometimes, and real weird looks like a fruit or something like that. It just keeps flashing at you, know, like yeah. somebody rubbing sure. rubber or something. Tell me some of the things you think about when you're playing, though, the images. Because, of course, when you're playing, I thought of things like sheep and things like that, little candies, fresh little candies and things like that. Do you think of those things too? Oh, I, I basically think about my financial situation. I count every like beat I, I play, every note I play, and I figure out how many notes I'm giving uh, into the space, you know, uh -huh. out in the space, sure. um, for how much I'm getting paid, and I am working cheap. Must be hard to sort of struggle to get your band together. Then. Oh, man, especially when you be lifting piano, man. That is the worst. Huh? I, I worked as a mover for two years while I was first getting a band together, and I also, I've also made pizza. But now you're playing music, and so the story sort of has a happy ending, doesn't it? Uh, it's, yeah, it's sort of a happy ending. Uh, we just got the shaft from a record company that had promised to pay us a certain amount of royalties. And oh, then they that's said too bad. That all sorts of stuff went into pre-production and charged that's us for typewriters. They'd be charging us for stamps, they say, and stuff. How much sure. is a stamp, you know? Sure. I, I'll buy the goddamn stamp, you Sure, know? I know what you mean. Well, I'm sure a lot of people out there would like to know how a big, strong guy like you plays the bass so well. Gets to be so strong, what it eats to be like that. Can you tell us that? Well, I eat a lot of garbage food, but uh, I, I mainly subsist on stuff like sandwiches and tins of tuna, chicken, something like that from a chain store, soda. Do you ever have Egg McMuffin? Sometimes, Dad, or cheese printers. Can you say Egg McMuffin? Egg McMuffin, yeah. Well, I know what I'd like to do now. I'd like to hear you play some bass. Would you yeah, like I'd like to do that. Well, we're going to go to the Magic Kingdom. Oh, no, man. It's too early for me. <laughs> I got to drive. 